The term American folk music encompasses numerous music genres, variously known as traditional music, traditional folk music, contemporary folk music, or roots music. Many traditional songs have been sung within the same family or folk group for generations, and sometimes trace back to such origins as Great Britain, Europe, or Africa. Mike Seeger once famously commented that the definition of American folk music is, all the music that fits between the cracks. Roots music is a broad category of music including bluegrass, gospel, old-time music, jug bands, Appalachian folk, blues, Cajun and Native American music. The music is considered American either because it is native to the United States or because it developed there, out of foreign origins, to such a degree that it struck musicologists as something distinctly new. It is considered roots music because it served as the basis of music later developed in the United States, including rock and roll, rhythm and blues, and jazz. Early American Folk Music most songs of the colonial Fletch and Revolutionary period originated in England, Scotland, and Ireland and were brought over by early settlers. Barbara Allen remains a popular traditional ballad originating in England and Scotland, which immigrants introduced to the United States. The murder ballad Pretty Polly is an American version of an earlier British song, The Gosport Tragedy. Spirituals African American folk music in the area has roots in slavery and emancipation. Sacred music, both a cappella and instrumentally accompanied, is at the heart of the tradition. Early spirituals framed Christian beliefs within native practices and were heavily influenced by the music and rhythms of Africa. Spirituals are prominent, and often use a call and response pattern. Gospel developed after the Civil War. 1861 to 65 It relied on biblical text for much of its direction and the use of metaphors and imagery was common Gospel is a joyful noise sometimes accompanied by instrumentation and almost always punctuated by hand clapping toe tapping and body movement Work songs Sea shanties Sea shanties functioned to lighten the burden of routine tasks and provide a rhythm that helped workers perform as a team. Cowboy songs Cowboy songs are typically ballads that cowboys sang in the West and Southwest. The familiar Streets of Laredo, or Cowboy's Lament, derives from an Irish folk song of the late 18th century called The Unfortunate Rake, which in turn appears to have descended from the even earlier The Bard of Armagh. While Streets of Laredo uses the same melody as The Unfortunate Rake, St. James Infirmary Blues adapts the story to a different tune. This illustrates how folk songs can change in the retelling and appear in a variety of versions. Railroad Songs The Ballad of John Henry, Folklore, is about an African-American folk hero said to have worked as a steel-driving man. Roots Music Many roots musicians do not consider themselves folk musicians. The main difference between the American folk music revival and American roots music is that roots music seems to cover a broader range, including blues and country. Roots music developed its most expressive and varied forms in the first three decades of the 20th century. The Great Depression and the Dust Bowl were extremely important in disseminating these musical styles to the rest of the country as Delta Blues Masters, itinerant honky-tonk singers and Latino and Cajun musicians spread to cities like Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. The growth of the recording industry in the same period was also important, higher potential profits from music placed pressure on artists, songwriters and label executives to replicate previous hit songs. This meant that musical fads, such as Hawaiian slack key guitar, never died out completely, since a broad range of rhythms, instruments, and vocal stylings were incorporated into disparate popular genres. By the 1950s, forms of roots music had led to pop-oriented forms. Folk musicians like the Kingston Trio, Pop Tejano, and Cuban-American fusions like Boogaloo, 
Chikacha and Mambo, Blues Derived Rock and Roll and Rockabilly, Pop Gospel, Doo Wop and R&B, later secularized further as soul music, and the Nashville sound in country music all modernized and expanded the musical palette of the country. The Roots approach to music emphasizes the diversity of American musical traditions, the genealogy of creative lineages and communities, and the innovative contributions of musicians working in these traditions today. In recent years Roots music has been the focus of popular media programs such as Garrison Keillor's public radio program, A Prairie Home Companion and the feature film by the same name. Regional Forms American traditional music is also called Roots music. Roots music is a broad category of music including bluegrass, country music, gospel, old-time music, jug bands, Appalachian folk, blues, Cajun and Native American music. The music is considered American either because it is native to the United States or because it developed there, out of foreign origins to such a degree that it struck musicologists as something distinctly new. It is considered roots music because it served as the basis of music later developed in the United States, including rock and roll, contemporary folk music, rhythm and blues, and jazz. Appalachian Music Appalachian music is the traditional music of the region of Appalachia in the eastern United States. It derives from various European and African influences including English ballads, Irish and Scottish traditional music, especially fiddle music, hymns and African American blues. First recorded in the 1920s, Appalachian musicians were a key influence on the early development of old-time music, country music and bluegrass, and were an important part of the American folk music revival. Instruments typically used to perform Appalachian music include the banjo, American fiddle, fretted dulcimer, and guitar. Early recorded Appalachian musicians include Fiddlin' John Carson, Henry Witter, Bascom Lamar Lunsford, the Carter family, Clarence Ashley, Frank Prophet, and Doc Boggs, all of whom were initially recorded in the 1920s and 1930s. Several Appalachian musicians obtained renown during the folk revival of the 1950s and 1960s, including Gene Ritchie, Roscoe Holcomb, Ola Bell Reed, Lily Mae Ledford, and Doc Watson. The Carter family was a traditional American folk music group that recorded between 1927 and 1956. Their music had a profound impact on bluegrass, country, southern gospel, pop, and rock musicians. They were the first vocal group to become country music stars, a beginning of the divergence of country music from traditional folk music. Their recordings of such songs as Wabash Cannonball, 1932, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, 1935, Wildwood Flower, 1928, and Keep on the Sunny Side, 1928, made them country standards. Country and bluegrass artists such as Loretta Lynn, Roy Cuff, Dolly Parton, Earl Scruggs, Chet Atkins, and Don Reno were heavily influenced by traditional Appalachian music. Artists such as Bob Dylan, Jerry Garcia, and Bruce Springsteen have performed Appalachian songs or rewritten versions of Appalachian songs. Cajun Music Cajun Music, an emblematic music of Louisiana, is rooted in the ballads of the French-speaking Acadians of Canada. Cajun Music is often mentioned in tandem with the Creole-based, Cajun-influenced Zydeco form, both of Acadiana origin. These French Louisiana sounds have influenced American popular music for many decades, especially country music and have influenced pop culture through mass media, such as television commercials. Oklahoma and Southern U.S. Plains Before recorded history American Indians in this area used songs and instrumentation, music and dance remain the core of ceremonial and social activities. Stomp dance remains at its core, a call and response form, instrumentation is provided by rattles or shackles worn on the legs of women. Other southeastern nations have their own complexes of sacred and social songs, 
including those for animal dances and friendship dances, and songs that accompany stickball games. Central to the music of the Southern Plains Indians is the drum, which has been called the heartbeat of Plains Indian music. Most of that genre traces back to the hunting and warfare that was a strong part of Plains culture. During the reservation period, they frequently used music to relieve boredom and despair. Neighbors gathered, exchanged, and created songs and dances. This is a part of the roots of the modern intertribal powwow. Another common instrument is the courting flute. Shape note or sacred harp singing developed in the early 19th century as a way for itinerant singing instructors to teach church songs in rural communities. They taught using song books that represented musical notation of tones by geometric shapes that associated a shape with a pitch. Sacred harp singing became popular in many Oklahoma rural communities, regardless of ethnicity. Later, the blues tradition developed, with roots in and parallels to sacred music. By the early 20th century, jazz developed born from a blend of ragtime, gospel, and blues Anglo-Scots-Irish music traditions gained a place in Oklahoma after the land run of 1889. Because of its size and portability, the fiddle was the core of early Oklahoma Anglo music, but other instruments such as the guitar, mandolin, banjo, and steel guitar were added later. Various Oklahoma music traditions trace their roots to the British Isles, including cowboy ballads, western swing, and contemporary country and western. Mexican immigrants began to reach Oklahoma in the 1870s, bringing beautiful canciones and corridos love songs, waltzes, and ballads along with them. Like American Indian communities, each rite of passage in Hispanic communities is accompanied by traditional music. The acoustic guitar, string bass, and violin provide the basic instrumentation for Mexican music, with maracas, flute, horns, or sometimes accordion filling out the sound. Other Europeans, such as Bohemians and Germans, settled in the late 19th century. Their social activities centered on community halls, where local musicians played polkas and waltzes on the accordion, piano, and brass instruments. Later Asians contributed to the musical mix. Ancient music and dance traditions from the temples and courts of China, India, and Indonesia are preserved in Asian communities throughout the state, and popular song genres are continually layered onto these classical music forms. The American Southwest and South Texas Tejano and New Mexico music, heard throughout the American Southwest and South Texas, is rooted in the musics of the Native American and Hispanic-Latino communities of the regions. Tejano music is also heavily influenced by regional Mexican and country music, while New Mexico music is much more influenced by Hispano folk and Western music. Both styles have influenced one another over the years, and incorporated American popular music styles. Other American folk music Genres here range as widely as the definition of folk music itself, working definitions are based on the style and themes of the music regardless of its source. Many are a part of the American folk music revival, including works by Pete Seeger, Woody Guthrie, The Weavers, Burl Ives, and others. A more commercially oriented pop music version of folk emerged in the 1960s, including performers such as the Kingston Trio, the Limeliters, the Brothers Four, Peter, Paul and Mary, Joan Baez, the Highwaymen, Judy Collins, the New Christy Minstrels, and Gordon Lightfoot, as well as counterculture and folk rock performers including Bob Dylan, the Birds, Arlo Guthrie, and Buffy St. Marie. Folk composer and musician Robert Schmertz composed and wrote pieces related to historical events in western Pennsylvania books. In 2004, NPR published the book titled The NPR Curious Listener's Guide to American Folk Music, Linda Ronstadt wrote the foreword. The Neverending Revival, Rounder Records and the Folk Alliance by Michael F. Scully, University of Illinois Press, 2008. 
In 2007, James P. Leary published, Polka Billy, How the Goose Island Ramblers Redefined American Folk Music, which proposes a redefinition of traditional American folk music and identifies a new genre of music from the upper Midwest known as Polka Billy, which blends ethnic music, old-time country music, and polka. The book was awarded the American Folklore Society's Chicago Folklore Prize for the best book in the field of folklore scholarship. Artists and Musicians Notable American folk-slash-roots musicians include Fidlin John Carson, 1868-1949 Joe Hill, 1879-1915 Washington Phillips, 1880-1954 Lead Belly, 1888-1949 Jelly Roll Morton, 1890-1941 Blind Lemon Jefferson, 1892-1929 Bessie Smith, 1894-1937 Elizabeth Cotton, 1895-1987 Jimmy Rogers The Singing Brakeman 1897 to 1933 Paul Robeson 1898 to 1976 Sun House 1902 to 1988 Roya Cuff 1903 to 1992 Johnny Richardson 1908 present children's folk music Burl Lives 1909 to 1995 Earl Robinson 1910 to 1991 Robert Johnson 1911 to 1938 Mahalia Jackson 1911 to 1972 Sonny Terry 1911 to 1986 Bill Monroe 1911 to 1996 Woody Guthrie 1912 to 1967 Roscoe Holcomb 1912 to 1981 Muddy Waters 1913 to 1983 Lester Flat 1914 to 1979 and Earl Scruggs 1924 to 2012 Brownie McGee 1915 to 1996 Ola Bell Reed 1916 to 2002 Lily May Ledford 1917 to 1984 John Lee Hooker 1917 to 2001 Merle Travis 1917 to 1983 Cisco Houston 1918 to 1961 Ed McCurdy 1919 to 2000 Pete Seeger 1919 to 2014 Doc Watson 1923 to 2012 Jean Ritchie 1922 to 2015 Hank Williams 1923 to 1953 Fred Gerlock 1925 to 2009 BB King 1925 to 2015 Barbara Dane 1927 Ralph Stanley 1927 to 2016 Logan English 1928 to 1983 Ramblin Jack Elliot 1931 Paul Clayton 1931 to 1967 Bob Gibson 1931 to 1996 Johnny Cash 1932 to 2003 Ian Tyson 1933, and Sylvia Fricker, 1940. Mike Seeger, 1933 to 2009. Willie Nelson, 1933. Liam Clancy, 1935 to 2009. Hazel Dickens, 1935 to 2011. Dave Van Ronk, 1936 to 2002. Carolyn Hester, 1937 Trini Lopez, 1937 Norman Blake, 1938 Gordon Lightfoot, 1938 
Hoyt Axton, 1938-1999 Judy Collins, 1939 Mark Spolstra, 1940-2007 Joan Baez, 1941 Bob Dylan, 1941 Buffy St. Marie, 1941 Roger McGinn, 1942 Joni Mitchell, 1943 John Denver, 1943 to 1997. Towns Van Zandt, 1944 to 1997. Linda Ronstadt, 1946. Arlo Guthrie, 1947. Greg Brown, 1949. Bruce Springsteen, 1949. Keb Emo, 1951. Ricky Skaggs, 1954. Chris Castle, 1976. Pokey Lafarge, 1983. Chris Thiel, 1981. Sarah Jaraz, 1991. A. F. Donovan, 1982. Maggie Simpson. Adetta, 1930-2008. Rhiannon Giddens. 1977 Groups The Big Three The Brothers Four Bud and Travis The Birds Carter Family The Chad Mitchell Trio Foggy Mountain Boys The Highwaymen The Irish Rovers The Journeyman Kenny Rogers and the First Edition The Kingston Trio the Limelighters. The Mamas and the Papas. The New Christie Minstrels. New Lost City Ramblers. Peter, Paul and Mary. Pozo Seco Singers. The Sandpipers. The Serendipity Singers. The Simon Sisters. Smothers Brothers. Spanky and Our Gang. Stone Ponies. The Terriers. Virginia Minstrels The Weavers Punch Brothers Nickel Creek Crooked Still Film and TV Hootenanny, a weekly musical variety show broadcast on the ABC network in the U.S. in 1963-1964, primarily featured folk musicians. The soundtrack of the 2000 film O Brother, Where Art Thou? is exclusively Roots Music, performed by Alison Krauss, The Fairfield Four, Emmy Lou Harris, Norman Blake and others. In 2001, PBS broadcast a four-part documentary series, American Roots Music, that explored the historical roots of American Roots Music through footage and performances by the creators of the movement. The 2003 film A Mighty Wind is a tribute to, and parody of, the folk pop musicians of the early 1960s. A six-hour public television series, The Music of America, History Through Musical Traditions, appeared in 2010. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.